<laughs> Welcome to Munchkin Storytime. The title of this story is Amelia Bedelia on the Move. Amelia Bedelia loved to ride around town with her parents. It was fun to wonder what was inside of the people's houses. Where are we going today? asked Amelia Bedelia. We are house hunting, said Amelia Bedelia's father. Amelia Bedelia looked out her window. The houses are not hiding, she said. I see one, two, three, four. Hunting for houses is easy. We are looking for houses that are for sale, said Amelia Bedelia's mother. Look at that pretty Tudor house. Our house has two doors, said Amelia Bedelia. We have a front door, a back door, and a garage door, said her father. That's right, said Amelia Bedelia. We live in a three-door house. A Tudor-style house looks like an English home in the Middle Ages, explained Amelia Bedelia's mother. There were many kings and queens in the Tudor family, said her father. Let's look for a colonial house, said Amelia Bedelia's father. Colonial-style homes have been popular since the American Revolution, said Amelia Bedelia's mother. Hey, look, said Amelia Bedelia's mother. That ranch is having an open house. Let's go in, said her father. Hooray, said Amelia Bedelia. I love horses. During the holidays, Amelia Bedelia's parents always had an open house party. Friends and neighbors were free to stop by any time. It didn't look as though there was a party here. The house was quiet. Are we the first ones? Said Amelia Bedelia. The front door swung wide open. Welcome home, said a smiling woman with a name tag marked Jill. Oh, I don't live here, said Amelia Bedelia. I live at my house. We came to look at your house. Well, come right in, said Jill. Jill gave Amelia Bedelia a piece of paper. Here are some facts about the house, she said. But I'm not the owner, I'm an agent. Amelia Bedelia whispered in her mother's ear. Her mother smiled and said, no, sweetie, Jill is not a spy. Not all agents are secret agents. Let me show you around, said Jill. What are you looking for? We are running out of room said Amelia Bedelia's mother. We need about 600 more square feet, said her father. Amelia Bedelia knew her father had two flat feet. Why did he want so many square ones? Let's go upstairs, said Amelia Bedelia. I want to pick out my room. A ranch style house does not have an upstairs, said her father. A ranch house is built like a house on a ranch out west. So where do we sleep, asked Amelia Bedelia. On this floor, said her mother. The house has hardwood floors, said Jill. It sure does, said Amelia Bedelia. The floors are really hard. Amelia Bedelia had an idea. While her parents toured the house, she would hunt for the horses. Where is the backyard, asked Amelia Bedelia. Go through the mudroom, said Jill, pointing to a door. There wasn't any mud in the mudroom, just places to store coats and boots. Amelia Bedelia opened the back door. She could see the tutor and the colonial. She could see two dogs and a garden. Where were the horses hiding? Come take a look downstairs, said Jill. This house has a full basement. Our basement was full once, said Amelia Bedelia. It flooded when a pipe broke. This basement is finished, said Jill. So was ours, said Amelia Bedelia. There is a huge rec room, said Jill. Our whole basement was wrecked, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia's parents came downstairs. Aha, here you are, said Amelia Bedelia's father. What a great recreation room, said Amelia Bedelia's mother. Lots of space for fun and games, said Amelia Bedelia. Thanks for stopping by, said Jill. Now that I know what you want, I'll keep my ear to the ground. Amelia Bedelia's stomach growled. Jill must have heard it. Her father did. Lunchtime, said Amelia Bedelia's father. I'm so hungry, I could eat a horse. Then let's go, said Amelia Bedelia. You won't find a horse at this ranch. The end. <laughs>